Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today I want to show you something very fun. And uh, this was a small experiment. I just want to test it out and with success, by the way. So I'm here just to show you what I'm doing. I'm actually installing a Bluetooth module, also known as amplifier, a power amplifier, 50 watt two times so a 50 watt is actually the speakers and a DC voltage of between 5 and 24 volts a Bluetooth and those are the speakers and this is the volume regulator so I bought this on Aliexpress I put the um, the link of the shop in the description so what I did was something very simple um, as I will show you on this diagram here connecting it to the 12 uh, voltage and the ground didn't work the voltage on the top did not work at all so what I did was go back down and connect it to the battery itself so the power is directly to the amplifier so I thought, why not try this? So I connected it. I connected to the, as you can see on the diagram, I did some, there we go. The ground and the plus connected to it. And then also the speakers connected those. Now it's a stereo, so it's just the front as I did to test out. Um, so yeah. The fun thing is when you connect it to the radio first thing I thought was ah, it's going to push the sound and mix it up together with the uh, radio and CD and everything but surprisingly it did not do that what it did was actually cut off the stereo and push the music of your phone it, it actually gives that one the first round so it just kicks it removes the CD sound and the radio sound and it just gives you the sound that you're playing another cool thing is you don't even have to turn on the radio that's another plus you can just Turn on your engine and your Bluetooth module will uh, immediately turn on. But still, this is a very cool feature you can add to your car. And as you can see, I did not weld, I did not cut or anything. I don't want to do that crazy stuff. I just want to add it like this, connect it properly, uh, maybe solder it a little bit on the cables itself, but make it proper so people can also remove it again without any trouble now remember if you remove your audio you need to have the security code if there is a security code on it how to know when there is a security code very simple see these beautiful you see this here on top it says security code so when you remove the cables remember you need the security code now if you can't you don't know where that is or you don't have it there's a nice website called tech kings now tech kings uh, you can introduce yourself there you can sign up and then you have a forum topic that says nissan uh, micra uh, i think nissan micra audio security code or stereo security code but you just need to check that out you can then post your uh, serial number that you will find on the back and he will uh, provide you with the security code so the amplifier I am using you can find this mod amplifier uh, down in the description uh, well it was cheap it, you also get this plate and everything to cover it up nicely um, so yeah I'm gonna test this out a little bit see what the pros are and the cons um, in the meantime, um, yeah, if you have the same system as I do, just like this one, and the reason why I did this because I, I love the just keeping it original. 
uh, I really do adding Bluetooth to it is just a nice feature I'm also going to buy a a surround to stereo uh, adapter so I can uh, add it to these cables and then put the amplifier in between and then connect it to the Bluetooth so the sound comes from from all the speakers by that adapter I'm gonna find it and if I do I'll put it in the description as well yeah so uh, be careful with doing this uh, the easy ways to do you have the first screws are on the bottom and then you have on the top here you've got bolt here and two bolts over there and then two bolts on this side that's when you have this one you have them over there you just need to flip those covers you can do it with your nails and you're good you need to remove the side panels as you can see side panels removed first those and then the upper panel just try to put your finger here in between and just flip it up so again this is my quick uh, how to add a amplifier a Bluetooth amplifier to your car radio now if I'm not mistaken you can do this with almost every car just find the diagram and if you see the cable connections just look for the um, voltage the ACC voltage and the ground very important that you find the ground as well connect it to each other and then you have a good amplifier what I wanted to do was actually connect it to the CD so every time uh, I would push on the CD source it will jump it will activate the amplifier the Bluetooth and then see oh there's a CD inside but in that case it would be a Bluetooth connection but as I see on the diagram it's actually I need to connect more cables to together and also everything else is in the description if you ever did this as well please put it in the description down below so I'm just doing this explaining it how I did it and also telling you where I put the cables um, so again thanks a lot for watching guys this was the video thanks so much and until next time